what's up guys it's been I don't know six hours since my last video Blizzard keeps dropping new hero announcements new updates and super exciting uh, so I have the Lunar video up let's go ahead and watch it together and I'll pause it and talk about it Lunara is already a master of unleashing nature's power upon her foes, so we knew that our changes had to respect the builds that players currently know and love. <laughs> Lunara's Wisp ability now has more baseline strategic potential. After hiding in the brush for a couple of seconds, her Wisp's vision range grows larger. That's Additionally, cool. Lunara's older Wisp talents have been replaced with Sentinel Wisp. This talent increases the bonuses granted after her wisp has been hidden, allowing it to see over obstacles and spot stealth enemies, all at an increased range. Luna Very cool. So that's that's definitely a pretty big rework of her wisp. It was something that I felt was always kind of I mean it's useful, but it's not an exciting talent by any means. It was definitely something that I felt needed a lot of love it was kind of thrown on there like oh shit we got to give her a third ability and give her wisp and it can just be like a mobile spotter which is I mean it's cool you can't say it's not useful it's just not fun so I can see why people didn't really enjoy it because it's just not cool it just it was one of those things that's super vital but adds nothing fun to the game so this looks like a pretty good rework, um, definitely makes it a little more strategic, a lot more fun, a lot more interesting, definitely too. Um, so let's see what else they got in store for us. Shoot this back down. Lara's talent updates provide players with some new ways to approach combat. One example is to focus on empowering her ability to deal damage by spreading her nature's toxin to multiple heroes. For example, Endless Spores decreases the cooldown of her Crippling Spores ability when she's poisoned two or more enemy heroes at once. Under similar conditions, Accelerated Contamination oh, reduces the cooldown for Noxious Blossom. Both talents pair well with Splintered Spear, which allows Lunara to spread her toxin to up to four foes with a single basic attack. Wow. The Siphoning Toxin talent is now... So... That's annoying as hell. Um, it's gonna make her, I feel like more of like a an AOE group fighter, uh, which is good for her, you know. If you really love fighting Lunara or you love playing Lunara, it's a great update, you know. As for the rest of us, that's gonna blow. But it's it's a good update, and it definitely gives her a lot more damage that I guess she needed. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I think she's pretty pretty powerful already, but this is very cool if you're a Lunar main or if you just like to play her occasionally. So let's see what this siphoning toxin thing is all about. Now available earlier, allowing Lunara to maximize her healing as she stacks her poison on foes. A new talent, Intensifying Toxin, dramatically increases the damage of nature's toxin when enemies have three stacks so they can become fertilizer even faster. The hunt is on. Empowered with a new wisp and new ways to wield her death. Okay. Increased talent diversity, enhanced wisp abilities, and offer diverse and rewarding approaches to combat. It sounds like a resume. Um, a resume for murder. So Lunar is going to be really aggravating to play against. I can tell. She already is, but this update brings a lot of new strategies it looks like for her which is nice she did feel like kind of like play it one way sort of champion so this will be a nice a nice update for her I think these are awesome updates for Lunara uh, it definitely adds a lot of new gameplay mechanics to her it makes her whiz finally fun to play it's not that it wasn't viable or un unimportant it's just that it was really bland and boring so this is going to add a lot of really cool new ways to play her that's pretty much all that there is. This isn't like a super beefy update. It looks like it's just adding a couple, a couple new ways to approach her builds and updating her wisp, which it desperately needed. So again, Blizzard, good job listening to people. Uh, good job listening to those 
aggravating Lunar mains out there. And uh, I'm excited for this. This is going to be a good change. Um, it's always nice to see that they're so active on the game and that they keep updating things. Like I'm going crazy doing reactions to these, but it's pretty cool that they're willing to drop so much. You know, this is in line with what they were saying earlier in their video. Check it out. Uh, when I when they talked about the updates they wanted to do to Heroes of the Storm. So it's good to see the Blizzards keeping that promise that they are rolling out new material, that they are giving changes to the players who want to see that keeps the game fun, balanced, I guess, with Lunara. I mean, you know, whatever. I'm a little salty. I don't like playing against her. Tell me what you think in the comments. Do you like this change? Do you think it's unnecessary? Do you love the new Wisp? Do you think it's stupid? Don't forget to like. Subscribe to the video, I have a new video coming out every Tuesday, unless it's update season apparently, and then I'm just dropping them like hotcakes. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you in the Nexus.